Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Hui Pen Huang. I'm going to introduce an effective method for assessing depth density in rosacea, the thumbnail squeezing method. We use the free edge of thumbnail to press into the skin and squeeze the follicular contents from the infundibulum. Since the length of deep folliculorum is 0.3 to 0.4 mm, and its tail is located at the follicular ostium, pressing down to a depth of 0.5 mm is probably deep enough to express the most of the deep folliculorum. Some of the deep rabies may also be expressed because most of the non deep in the spatial duct, which lies within 0.3 mm in depth. A transparent film dressing with a 1 times 1 cm window was cut in the center in advance. The film was applied on the selected skin to mark the area for squeezing. Points for TSM include a fit growth for the thumb with a 1 to 2 mm free nail edge. An ideal site for sampling should be non inflammatory skin area with fine white follicular products, large hair pores, or popular pastures. Avoid the areas with severe inflammation or swelling. Mark a 1 square cm skin area. The convex surface of the thumbnail allow all expressed specimens be transferred onto the slide. Here shows the procedure of the TSM. Lubricate the skin with mineral oil. Hold skin tight with the assistant hand. Squeeze deep to 0.5 mm indentation, then release the pressure. Repeat squeezing and releasing. Advance at 1 mm increment within the 1 square centimeter window. The pressure was applied and released about 10 times. The expressed follicular contents will adhere to the globe spontaneously. Collect and transport the specimen onto a slide. Mount with a drop of mineral oil. Observe immediately under a light microscope. Count all stages of both species of demodex. Here is the follicular mites obtained by TSM. The mites are displayed in order of life cycle development. The oven is arrowhead shaped. According to the study of Zhou et al., a human demodex mite with a short body is not always deep rabies. The most consistent morphological character of D. folliculorum is a finger like terminus, and of deep rabies is a cone like terminus. And here is the deep rabies mite. There are oval eggs and bodies with cone-like terminus. All the developing stages of demodex mites and their mobility are well identified. In contrast to the silent immature stages, adult D folliculorum was very mobile when they were just squeezed out the follicle. Here shows a demodex mites feeding on sebum. We also have a modified TSM without a pre-cut film dressing. Mark a 1 square cm area with a pen. Follicular contents can be collected from any skin area, such as the nose, nasolabial folds, glabella, scap, and the neck. Remember the key points for TSM include 1 square cm area, 0.5 mm in depth, and a convex surface. When using TSM to check the scap, the key point is supporting and squeezing with both thumbnails. Here is a patient with follicular pasture on the scap. A high demodex density was confirmed by the modified TSM. In sum, thumbnail squeezing method, TSM, is effective for determining the density and morphology of demodex in rhodesia and demodicosis.